What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys another exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciated everybody. So what we have guys is a knife coming in from Tuya Knives and Dave Warren. So huge shout out to them for sending this guy in for me to take a look at. Now, I did take this out of the mailer, the box, because there's a couple other knives in there. I wanted to give each one its own uh, dedicated unboxing and first impressions. So I have not been into this case yet. I just randomly pulled one out. So let's see what we are dealing with here. Ooh, yeah. So I've been hearing a lot of raving about this knife. I have not checked it out yet. Uh, this is going to be the Wrath. I believe version two, and this is going to be Dave's own design, Dave Warren. Uh, and this one looks really good, guys. Yeah, right up my alley. We have a satin finished, dull ground, traditional Japan, uh, is a Japanese Tanto blade. We have a hollow running into a flat there. A little bit of, that is crowned, I believe. Yeah, that's crowned. And that feels like it's coming down nice and thin. Nice sharpening choil there. And then I believe S90V. I don't think the camera will quite pick it up for you guys. But there you can see S90V on the steel, which is a good choice. Uh, I believe this version is coming in around the 260, 270 mark. Uh, and, and that's not a bad price at all. In my opinion, we have multiple opening options here. We have dull studs and we have a front flipper tab there. The studs work really well there for the reverse and the thumb flick. Front flipper, we can do the index rollover, we can do the thumb rollover, and depending on where you place your fingers and hand, that one might take some getting used to. There we go. The reach around can be done. We have just a little uh, cutout for the lock bar, so not going to be a huge issue, I don't believe. Uh, maybe if you put an extreme amount of pressure here, you might run into something, but it's covered up for the most part with the secondary handle material, which is going to be carbon fiber. Uh, this is some sort of twill style carbon fiber or uh, some sort of cross cut carbon fiber. We also have a titanium milled clip, titanium backspacer. We have internal milling done, big pockets for weight relief on this guy. And let me know if you guys are this weird. I absolutely love the chamfer and jimping combination. Uh, it's something I just started seeing recently. I think I've seen it way back when uh, on like one particular model, but I've seen it a couple times at this point. And especially on a frame lock like this, it's just extremely comfortable, grippy. It's just really nice, guys. It's something I, I really like chamfers and I really like backspacers. Uh, those are two things I really look for when I, you know, when a knife is really nice and built well and all that sort of thing. Those are a couple things that really things come down to me for the, the chamfer on the liner or lock bar or whatever it is. And then does it have any semblance of a backspacer and, or is the, the scales thick enough and rounded enough to be comfortable in hand? Because, you know, that's one of the primary functions that you want is a comfortable knife in hand. Uh, and in this case, we do have a quarter titanium backspacer there. We have some thicker slabs of titanium and they are rounded off very nicely. As far as the inlay and the transition, that is done very well. There's no, there's no protrusion anywhere or anything sinking down below. It seems extremely flush. I'll see if I can get you a shot there. But yeah, nicely done. And then 
going to be the same on this side except for where you're by the cut there uh, but that is going to be normal why don't we see what this guy looks like in the pocket we will also give this guy a little cutty cut see what kind of edge came on this guy going to be a standard milled titanium clip you'll have a little tiny bit poking out of the pocket there but a nice clean uh, more minimal style milled clip here sleek I like that just one torque screw instead of the double which uh, I think the single is just fine I actually would pretty much prefer that uh, the detent is pretty damn good guys pretty snappy on the detent there I don't think I would want it any stronger it's pretty snappy yeah I would say that's right on point uh, for my personal taste uh, some guys might like it a little bit lighter and then there might be some even crazier guys out there who might want it a little stronger but uh, that's a nice solid detent and then the action uh, the drop action at least is a little shake it'll drop to your thumb and then one decent two decent shakes and it's going home it'll only break in guys of course and I'm sure once we get a little bit of lubrication in there some break in time uh, this will drop to the thumb and then probably a very light shake will send it all the way home so what kind of edges does Tuya put on these guys? Well, let's see. Oh, I'm getting, I'm an idiot. I think I'm getting hung up in the, I'm an idiot. I was starting back here and getting caught up. I was like, why is it cutting so good sometimes? And then I'm getting caught up. <laughs> it's because I was in the freaking choil. Okay, yeah, it's got a good edge on it. Let's be extra sure and see what we got on some cardboard here. As long as I stay out of the choil. Hey, that's what happens when you deal with so many knives. You forget instantly what you are, what you got in your hand. So if you stay out of the choil, it's going to cut very well. Uh, and that's because there's no edge in the choil, guys, if you didn't know that. Going against the grain. Nice. And it should poke pretty nicely. Yeah, very nicely. And then... Yep. Boy, that secondary edge is nice and sharp as well. Woo-wee! So I'm nervous about doing this. Uh, there's no play, though. Side to side or up and down. And the lockup seems pretty good, about 35 to 40%. We'll close it, open it up, check it again. Good. Good news. Great news. Good, good, good. Good and great. So... Yeah, this is a nice design, guys. Really nice design. And even if it had popped, you know, it's still a beautiful design. But it did not pop and it did not fail. Uh, you know, whether you agree with that or don't, I want to know if it can take a light tap and be okay. Uh, just for my own information and there's other guys out there who really appreciate it if it doesn't apply to you then that's fine that is fine and if you don't agree with it that is fine as well it's not going to stop me 
from doing it. I want to check. I'm not smashing these knives into that board. I am merely tapping it just to make sure it's not going to fail extremely easily, right? Extremely easily is being the key word there or key words. Uh, you know, if you got to smash it like it's a baseball bat into the brick wall or something and it fails, then yeah, you're an idiot. But I want to check, make sure it at least has a good positive lockup as it should. And it does. Uh, nice edge if you stay out of the choil there. Good solid detent. I like the opening options with the studs and front flipper there. Detent is tuned nicely. Little shake. And it's even closing better now at this point. Yeah, nice solid action, smooth action, good access with the chamfer and jimping, internal milling for weight relief, uh, nice little milled clip there. I would say the only thing that I could really say that I would add in addition to this, and this is just early first impressions, which it probably couldn't have been done with the way, maybe it could have, but... I would have loved to have seen the jimping run out into this area here. Uh, that would have been an even nicer touch as to what we have because jimping on top of these studs here would have been... Now, maybe that's why they didn't do it because you're landing on them studs there and it's going to be very easy to control in this grip anyway. Uh, and then the other thing, you guys know I'm going to say it, uh, I wouldn't have mind seeing a more, uh, you know, three-quarter or even a full backspacer on this guy. That would have been extremely nice. It does add a little bit of weight. And, you know, that's just my personal opinion. Some guys do not care at all if there's a backspacer. And I'm not, it, this is just me saying what I would add to make this my perfect knife, right? This doesn't have anything to do with whether it's you know good or bad this is just my preferences uh i would love to see uh you know a longer backspacer back here uh that just only adds to the ergonomics in my opinion for the minimal amount of weight it adds i think it pays off in ergonomics i've said that many times uh i'm just a huge fan of backspacers but with that being said uh, this is a very comfortable knife in hand. Ripping back on it there. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, you know, when you rip it back, you get a little pressure here, which is natural with any knife. Uh, but other than that, with the clip being as sleek and minimal as it is, I do not barely feel that at all. I don't feel any sharpness or anything like that. Everything is finished very well. We'll do a full overview of this guy coming up here very, very soon. I'll give you guys one last close-up of this guy because it is extremely beautiful. Look at those lines in that blade. Just a beautiful looking satin and a very well done handle material. Yeah, Dave, you got a nice, I don't know if he'll see this, but you got yourself a beautiful, well executed design there. We'll see how this guy holds up here in the future. We will do a full in-depth overview of this guy coming up here in the coming days and then expect a review uh, farther down on the line. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think down in the comments of this guy. I love hearing from you guys. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, that'll wrap it up for me. And I will catch you on the next one.